Hello everyone, welcome back to part four of The Beast Inside. We are now on to chapter six, which I believe is one of the scary parts at the moment. So let's go. The judge tried to strangle me and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for the man in the top hat and mask. He killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. It looked like he was trying to save me, but why? Nice. Christ, I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective? You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices... There's so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those... They said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. Right. Okay, this guy. I, I sort of believe that he's going mad the more that we actually go through this. Because is it well, if you saw it last time, we walked up towards this place and he saw every light on just about and you could see people in the windows and stuff like that. But a lot of it seems real at the same time, which is sort of freaky. But is it just madness? We're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to see about that one. What's this? What's what we got here? That matches again? janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room 207. Room 207. Is that upstairs? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, so we can't get up the stairs. <clears throat> There's a hole there. That's locked. So which way is it to room 207? Oh, now that's freaky. I'm not alone. I'm freaked out. <laughs> Alright, here we go, look. We are at 113. So it's 207 the same place where 107 is if we go upstairs. What is that? What was that? Oh. I'm getting scared already. <laughs> this is tense already. This guy just walking about. Oh, and there's that picture again. We've seen that picture before. He's leading our way by the looks. Oh no. Is this 207? Damn, there's a chain. <gasps> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Maybe I could use it to cut through the Wow. Chain. Oh, this game knows how to get you. I knew something was gonna happen, but.
Right, let's light some candles. <laughs> let's not let it stay too dark. What's this? Some more matches. Some more kerosene. Locked. Candle on the floor. The more candles we light, the better. <laughs> the better I feel. Oh, do we have to drop down? Is that what we've got to do? <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ! <sighs> Why is he doing this? <laughs> what was that? Oh. Really Try to drag me to hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? Oh my God! What was that? Who was that? Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. Oh. Is someone going to jump out at me again? What the hell is this? Looks like a slaughter. What? Good God. Something's wrong here. Yes. Better grab that tool and get out of here. Yes, it is. <clears throat> a magazine created for the patients of a psychiatric hospital. In many such places, patients cannot even dream about such amenities. They get fed pig's wool and tied to their beds. Many don't survive their stay. And the ones that do are never really free men again. It will be considered great luck to ever get out of such an institution. Okay. <clears throat> is that what this used to be? Before the hotel? I feel, imagine! I sort of don't want to turn that on because I think it's just going to light a face up there. Oh, safe. <laughs> you should cut through the chain in the janitor's room. That's it. I'm back. No? There we go. Beautiful. Oh, look at these skills. He's done this before. <sighs> what about if he pops his head through? What about if he grabs this saw? Oh, that has to make those horrible noises. Light the candles, light the candles. Don't be scared. <laughs> That's it. Keeping this lamp on. <laughs> oh, it's gone silent. That sort of means... It's just gonna be poor soul. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for eternity. And the guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. What? I feel sorry for that poor wretch. He took to drink it to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if these ghosts don't leave me alone. Oh, leave us alone, ghosties. <laughs> Can be used to access room 106 and the hallway leading to the second wing of the inn. like it. Yes. Some 
can't get over there. Oh, lovely. It says put the key in. Can I put a key in? No? Okay. Oh, scary times. Ah, another key. I'm going to turn around and get scared. <gasps> Whoa! This has got to be one of the scariest games I've ever played. This is absolute madness. The jump scares in this are absolutely crazy. Why is there some sort of thing coming off that? That fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. Okay. The combination to the padlock is anger. Who? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Do, well, do we want to move this first? So, anger. What is going to happen to us at this other side? Who is this man? Who is the crazy dude? What was that music for? Um. Okay, that one a match. That one a match. Leave the match. Let's just have a quick look around here for anything. No. Oh, why the music? Why I hate going through these bits. Something always jumps out at me. Was crazy, dude. We've got to take those out. Oh, that guy's going to start chasing us in a while. John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother. We have reached the finale of our masterpiece. I have managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I have slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. Those, hmm, <laughs> We're not going to say that on stream. I must have got lost in the local woods, though. And instead of Lowell, I have found myself in some backwards. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I am making final preparations while saying my prayers. You know what that means. Yes, God is on our side, brother. He too wanted our work to come to fruition. So the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. I hope you have made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. James W. Booth. So, the Union uniform is just a disguise. It's all getting more and more mysterious. Ooh. 
You keep hearing these little whispers and stuff. Is it in his own head? It's got to be in his own head. Because he's going crazy. Everything about him is... These damn roots again! They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of... <gasps> oh dear! What? I couldn't just get up and walk away. Oh! Let me go! Help! Oh, it's got a bomb! I will leave you of your life, you Yankee bastard! Get out! Yes, 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 get out! Oh! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Where are you putting it? Oh! Whoa! <coughs> that was crazy! I loved it! <laughs> Scared the hell out of me at first. Wow! That was... Oh, look at this. That was amazing. Oh, dear. Poor guy. Um... What about this scary woman that keeps jumping at us though? Is she gonna jump at us again? I'm more bothered about her than things like that happening. Right, cutty cut cut cut. Get those things cut. Let's get out of here. Can't get through there. Paintings jumping out at me now. <laughs> oh, that scared me coming up then. I just saw that little white sheet. What's that? Oh, right, quickly then. Oh, wrong button. Um, let us sort our kerosene out really quickly. Get that to max. Search George's office. Which is George's office? I forgot. Is this it? A bit of lock picking going on. That's the one. Oh. Oh, beautiful. The best lock picker around. You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. Every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing! Did that really happen? Did they plot against my father and me? That demented brat. So, we are... Not known well by these guys. They do not like us. But they're all gone. Did I kill them all originally and that's where I disappeared to before I came back? Prison or some sort of asylum? <clears throat> we will find out, I hope. All of the kerosenes, all of the good things, a newspaper clipping. 
Blackstone, New Hampshire, Monday, September the 11th, the sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge John Norton, who badly wounded, passed away upon arrival at the inn. A $500 reward is being offered. Hmm. Lock, lot. More paper. A letter concerning the disappearance. Judging by the description, Henry seems like a typical melancholic. But I wouldn't jump to conclusions and say that he must have committed suicide. Too many people have gone missing in these parts. And certainly not all of them were overly sensitive. <clears throat> Mr. Hyde, I have already written to you multiple times, but I have never received a reply, so I'm asking again. Do you really not remember my brother Henry, who stayed at your inn two months ago? He's 31 years old, tall, slim and wears glasses. He came to your establishment seeking some peace and quiet after a recent breakdown. As a young artist, he was planning to paint landscapes. He always loved the scene, serene atmosphere of this region and said that these mountains and forests struck the right chord in his soul. As I've mentioned in my previous letters, my brother never returned home. Blackstone was the last place he was seen. I cannot dismiss the possibility that he may have taken his own life as it was full of suffering, but I hope that this is not the case. Maybe you can recall some detail that would help me solve the mystery of Henry's disappearance. Your sincerely, Anthony Wilcox. Okay, someone else has gone missing. Is that everything? I'll take the kerosene in there once I've done this light though. There we go. Am I going to turn around and get scared the hell out of? Possibility. Possibility. Aha! Can be used to access the reception in rooms 107 and 208. All I have to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Oh no! My God. That was tense. The detective was staying in room two or three. It's upstairs. It looked like he never checked out. There should be a spare key somewhere. Oh, Jesus! The key for room two or three is missing. Maybe. Maybe I can get there from room two. I must find out how much Gilman knew. Ooh. Right, I don't like her. Why did she just try and scare us before, but now she's chasing us to kill us for some reason? Let us just start the kerosene out again. Get it up to full. There's a letter in there. But we did not get that. Okay. Oh! 
What was that? Oh, God. Oh. Scary, scary times. I'm going to get scared again. I'm going to get scared again. Oh, that face. I need to hide. I get around that way? Oh my god. Oh, he's looking at me! Oh no. I can't go that way. Oh, I've got to go behind him when he moves. Okay. Close the door! Oh crap! <laughs> oh, scary man. Where do we go? Is he gone? Is he gone? Aha! Woo! Safe for a few minutes. Nice. Oh, I did not expect to be uh, sneaking about, to be honest. I thought there were just uh, a bit of running about in this game, to be honest, running away from things. But we have had a few different things so far in this game. We've had. We've had a bit of first person shooting, we've had a lot of running. A lot of puzzle solving. There is a nice little bit of variation in this game, which is uh, quite cool. Gilman! Open the door! We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Cut the pleasantries. I know what you're I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing because you're just desperately looking for a story that will catch you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives, many others have gone missing since, and you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that 
cost the lives of my employees, and ruin my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. You hear me? Cool, okay. The detective left something. <clears throat> During his investigation on the missing judge, the detective discovered that people had been disappearing for a long time in these parts, ever since the explosion at the mine. He began to suspect that the person to blame might be my father, Jacob Hyde. He even visited the mine to look for clues that would confirm the suspicions. The disappearances started right after the accident at the mine. I'm aware that the neighbourhood isn't very safe with all the forests, mountains, swamps, caves and whatnot, but I don't believe that it's all a coincidence. I also find it hard to believe that the explosion was a mere accident. Even though Jacob's version was confirmed by the investigating officers, one of the locals told me that, the that right before the explosion, Hyde had bought several barrels of gunpowder to his lot. I'm going to go to the mine and check the shaft for evidence that Hyde could have left there. The sheriff might have overlooked something, or he might even have been bribed. Maybe that will shed some light on the disappearances. The detective went to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident, but gunpowder barrel. Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? Maybe. I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Great. That's just great. Are we going to be running away from many things trying to get out of here? This craziness. Look at all the blood. All the ritual. What? I must have lost my mind. Oh, we can't get by the vines again. We've got to go that way. Oh, can we go this? What was that? Is it? Is it only in my head? I hope so, man. I hope so, for your sake. This, this is getting dark. Look at this. It's just. It gets crazier the more his mind just. Melts. <laughs> that's why. I, that's how I see it. His, his mind's melting away at the moment. I think I'm going mad. Uh, you, this. <laughs> this seems like something's gonna happen. What is gonna happen? Oh my God! Uh, run. Run, 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 Let's 
get out of here this time. Let's get out of here this time. Come on. That's it, son. Run! Oh! Oh my god! Keep running. Keep running. Where we go again? Oh dear. Oh! 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 Oh my god! Jump! I have to run. Oh. is crazy. Oh, it's running straight into the mine. Oh. Right, guys, that is the end of chapter six. Oh, wow, what an absolutely mad chapter that was. Thank you so much for watching us. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, drop a comment if you feel like it, and we shall see you next time for Chapter 7 and Part 5 of The Beast Inside.